the summer of 2021. Kyle, a husband and father of five, was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. It affects the nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord, resulting in loss of muscle control. Eventually, it becomes difficult to move, speak, eat, to breathe. When you swallow, it's almost involuntary. If you took in some water swimming, you would swallow it. And I don't, I choke, then I can't breathe. So that's always my concern in a swim. I have muscle twitch, fasciculation through my arms, chest, upper body, nonstop. And uh, mine is spreading to my hands now. We had a doctor that said, yeah, you sure as hell better not swim. I said, well, I am swimming. I mean, heck, I'm, I'm dying. So what's a world championship race? That's no problem. I've always been a person that has enjoyed what I've been given. And now that's even tenfold. You have a choice how you handle it. We came with the motto, and it's the line from a, <clears throat> from a song. Oh, when faced with tragedy, we come alive or come and done. So we said, we're gonna come alive. We've chosen to focus on what we do have. It's hard. I always call Kyle Superman. It's really hard to imagine him not being as strong as he is. I come undone when no one's around. I don't want people to see that. It's my time to say goodbye, say hello, say I love you. That's my bucket list now. Leave a positive mark on this planet in some way. He wants to be that example that shows that even in the worst possible situation that you can still do incredible things. People give you all kinds of stuff when you're dying. <laughs> it's been awesome. <laughs> it's always been about, you know, being bigger than yourself. But yeah, he cares a lot about other people and wants to make an impact on, on other people's lives. He lifts people, he elevates people to, to do better and to think better and to believe more of themselves. He's always had that gift. I coach a high school mountain bike team, Davis High School. We have 160 kids on our mountain bike team. It has really helped these kids. They all know if Kyle can do what Kyle's doing, they can do it. But he's just like a really special person to me. Just seeing him come out here every practice, he's still keeping up with us. In my last race, all I could think about is how Kyle could push through what he's going through, and it helps push us. Kyle's just been an amazing coach to all of us, and we just want to support him and give him a lot of motivation. When I ride with them, I'm not sick for an hour or two or three. I'm 16. I'm invincible. Some of them are missing homecoming <laughs> to come down to the race because he means that much to them. Team you have to have something positive to focus on, something to get to, to try and fight for. And this is it. John Blaze uh, wore 179 in uh, 2005 Ironman Kona. He passed away. His parents still run the Blaze Man Foundation. I reached out to them and said, uh, what can I do for you? 
for him. And they emailed me and Iron Man and said, can, uh, can Kyle wear his number? Iron Man immediately said, yes. What a huge honor to wear that number. I'm carrying a lot of uh, his power and energy with that number. Can't fail with that number. It's time for Kyle Brown to take another step into the unknown. It's time to come alive.